Tessa Ross and Julia Howell do not court publicity and when the duo welcome deadline to their London office in early February, it is the first interview they have given about house productions since they set up the film and TV outfit nearly seven years ago. The Zone of Interest and The Iron Claw are in UK movie theaters when we speak, serving as a timely reminder of the company's film credits, which have been built brick by brick. A second season of James Graham's drama series Sherwood will drop in coming months on the BBC and the house principals are fresh back from LA as they line up US partners for new projects. Drama in the works include a series about the Costa Concordia cruise ship disaster, a TV adaptation of the musical Kathy and Stella Solve a Murder, and an early stage project with Shudi Gatwa. In film, there is an adaptation of an Emer McBride novel, and a starry cast will soon be announced for the Semplica Girl Diaries. Richard Iowate is starring in and will direct the latter, from a script he wrote with George Saunders, and Cornerstone is handling sales, the existing slate is diverse. On the film side, it ranges from genre piece and Matt Smith star Starvaker to Andrea Arnold's much-anticipated film Bird, about which little is known, but which will be ready later this year. In TV, the slate includes varied fare such as Italian-language mafioso drama The Good Mothers and British political drama Brexit, The Uncivil War. The through line is that each has a discernible voice, and the imprint of the writer or director can be seen and heard. That's why we think we can do things differently, it is about the creative, it is about the author and authorship, says Howell. That purity and protecting that voice in the right shape and on the right platform is why we set out House the way we did. Ross is a former head of Film 4 and Howell ran TV at Working Title, so you'd expect them to be well connected. A recurring theme for them is the power of relationships, which is borne out by the fact the company often works with business partners and creatives on a repeat basis. Each film has a patchwork of partners, and the likes of A24, Cornerstone and Film Nation all feature. Len Blavatnik's Access Industries, which is run by former BBC TV boss Danny Cohen, put up development money in return for a first look at House's film Slate, Sebastian Lelio's The Wonder, Jonathan Glazer's The Zone of Interest, Sean Durkin's The Iron Claw and upcoming Edward Berger film Conclave all benefited from Access Industries' rolling development fund. Film and TV are very different businesses, but the approach to finding, backing, and sticking with projects is similar across both four. House what you learn in the independent film business is that if you develop something in a way that you believe in and you can find some sort of foundation grip to start your project off, you can hold on to that for long enough to bring people with you, says Ross. And there is a similarity to television, that thing of building something you believe in, finding the core, and then finding those partners that you can bring around it on paper, how it looks like the TV chief and Ross the film boss in the house mix. But the reality is that, having worked together in various guises for almost 30 years they inhabit each other's worlds. That means projects that come through House's front door can fit the form rather than be shoehorned into a feature or stretched to a series. Stephen Butchard's The Good Mothers, which House made with Italy's Wildside for Disney Plus and scooped a Berlin Ale Series Award, was a project that was initially thought of as film but which ultimately needed the expanse of a series. Making anything good is hard and making anything great is harder, says Ross. So, making it the right way, in the right shape is the most important thing. Wildside and House are also partners on Conclave, the adaptation of Robert Harris's novel about papal succession, directed by Berger. It is the German writer-director's first film after last year's multiple Oscar-winning title All Quiet on the Western Front. Speaking to the continuing relationships theme, Butchard, House and Wildside are working together again, this time on a drama-based story of the Italian cruise ship Costa Concordia that ran aground in 2012, resulting in 34 deaths. Italian journalist Pablo Trincia's podcast about the disaster was a starting point for the project and Butchard has written a first episode, which House is taking to market.